The aroma of leather is very distinctive and unmistakable, and that's what has contributed to its growing popularity in men's fragrance, such as Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. Most recently, Tom Ford's Ombre leather. There's Christian Dior's Dior Homme Parfum, and even underdog surprise hits like Bentley's Bentley for Men Intense has contributed to the popularity of, of fragrances like this. But there are many more fragrances that get almost no love and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So if you're at all interested in leather fragrances or you're an absolute leather lover out there, you will want to tune in because not only do we have 10 of what I consider 10 of the most criminally underrated leather fragrances that we're going to talk about today and feature, but I'm also going to do a full bottle giveaway of one of those and I'll let you know when and how to enter that contest. I've got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Yeah, Welcome back guys. Now, if you're already in the fragrance community and you watch my videos regularly, which welcome back, really glad to have you here. Or if you're brand new to my channel, also welcome to you as well. I hope you make this your fragrance discovery home. Again, if you're already viewing my videos, these fragrances probably are well known to you and may not be criminally underrated, you may be appreciative of their actual value and worth. In this video, I'm actually appealing to or speaking of a much broader audience of men out there who are yet to discover these fragrances. They're kind of get, just getting started in their fragrance discovery and are not yet aware of the wonders of underdog leather fragrances, ones that are criminally underrated. And that's the 10 that I'm gonna be talking about. The first one I'm featuring is actually a fragrance by Mont Blanc. It is Mont Blanc Explorer. Now, a lot of times you could tell a fragrance is leather based by the presentation. Leather is an immediately noticeable part of a lot of presentations. You can buy leather book bags, leather journals, leather purses, leather pouches, leather shoes, leather jackets. Leather is a extremely well-known textile in most industries, beauty and fashion. And in terms of fragrance, you can immediately look at a fragrance bottle like Vince Camuto, Vince Camuto fragrance. It's wrapped in leather and you've got Mont Blanc Explorer, which is also wrapped in a leather band. Even though this fragrance is reminiscent of Creed Aventus. Many people say it smells like it, and it does. There's definitely a similarity to it. In the heart is where you get the leather orientation. It just makes this leather extremely modern, very satisfying. It's buoyed by some ambroxan and some you know, patchouli, akigala wood. Again, if you're one of those that watches my videos, you got your finger on the pulse of the fragrance community, you're already aware of Mont Blanc Explorer as being a great fragrance, but I think there are a ton more people that have yet to discover just what a great fragrance Explorer really is hopefully soon more people will give it the attention that it deserves the next one that i feel like is a little bit underrated is also that may be questionable because again so many people in the fragrance community appreciate this fragrance for what it is but there are so many people out there so many guys out there that are looking for a good date night fragrance or a bad boy kind of fragrance that have yet to experience ch men privé or private that's what privé means you know like private selection this is a great introduction to leather fragrance because it's got that sweet vibe to it that sweet edge that draws you in and then it gives that pepper punch that ad that adds power behind the, the leather note and then you've got whiskey as a heart note so this is leather at its boozy finest in ch men privé you've got benzoin and woods to back it up that adds that warm sweet woody and then you've got a fragrance that just goes and goes and is an extremely attractive fragrance women love this smell on men so if you're looking for a leather fragrance that women love and that portray that kind of bad boy vibe you definitely want to check out ch men privé now even in the fragrance community this next fragrance isn't as well known as it should be for being a leather oriented fragrance but it's one of my favorites it's by jean paul gautier it is le mal essence du parfum it is a great leather oriented fragrance that's carrying that Lamal DNA. If you're familiar with Lamal, it's a kind of a lavender and sage combination that has a sweet bubblegum vibe backing it up. Essence de Parfum does away with the bubblegum vibe and instead replaces it with a more of a leather orientation. It's book ended by woods, but you've got osmanthus and leather, so it adds a little bit of floral roughness to that leather territory. And in between the woods is a bit of vanilla to make it smooth, make it creamy and welcoming and inviting. One of my favorite 
Again, criminally underrated leather fragrances in the line, the Lamal line is Essence de Parfum, and I hope you guys try this one out because I think you really, really enjoy it. Next up is a fragrance that again epitomizes how a presentation tells you what a fragrance is gonna be like. It is a John Varvatos fragrance called Dark Rebel Rider. Dark Rebel Rider remains starkly different from the rest of the John Varvatos fragrances because it is the most absolute darkest, richest, roughest, yet smooth, I, I say rough yet smooth, this is a good indicator. You know when a fragrance is wearing a leather jacket that what exactly it's for. Give that kind of badass vibe and you need your fragrance to say that for you, you know, to go before you, you know, to create the scent trail, to create the scent bubble that says, hey, take me seriously. This is the fragrance that's gonna do it. You can find Dark Rebel Rider at most discounters. It's not expensive. It is very inexpensive, but boy, does it pack a one-two powerful punch. You can't be squeamish and try this fragrance. Be prepared. If you're gonna blind buy a full bottle, you might be surprised at what you're getting into, but I, for my part, really, really enjoy it. I think it's a, a wonderful fragrance to wear when you're in that mood to kind of kick butt, take names, shoot first, ask questions later, that kind of thing. That's what Dark Rebel Rider is for. But there are still a number of people that haven't tried this, and I think that is a shame because it's a fantastic dark leather fragrance. The next criminally underrated fragrance that I'd like to feature, actually Ash of Jensen's talked about it some time ago, and it got some buzz because of that, but I think it's still got a lot more people who can appreciate just how useful this fragrance is, and it is a Trasardi fragrance called My Land. Again, the presentation tells all, you've got this golden top where the atomizer is, the atomizer pump, and then you've got this leather, light leather band. This kind of reminds me of the early days of Ferragamo, the original Ferragamo leather fragrance, and it makes me think of a really nice leather belt that's throwing off those aromatic leather vibes. This to me is a great casual fragrance. You could actually wear it with a suit and tie and be just perfectly fine. So it makes a great office oriented fragrance as well. Definitely check out My Land by Trasardi. Speaking of Ferragamo, one of the newer Ferragamo fragrances Ferragamo Intense Leather has really caught my radar. I have enjoyed the heck out of this fragrance. It's called Intense Leather, but don't let that scare you. It's not a medicinal kind of rough hewn leather that you might expect out of a fragrance like Gucci Guilty Absolute, which is an extremely strong, staunch, pungent, powerful leather. That's not what you're getting. You're getting a more a smooth, finely tuned, leather balanced fragrance with a little bit of fruit, a little bit of leather, a little bit of wood, and it's perfectly and seamlessly balanced to come across in a very modernistic way. And I think that's what contributes to just how good this fragrance is. And there are several brothers of this that have been recently released, like Bright Leather, Spicy Leather, that are also very good, but I really enjoy wearing Intense Leather by Ferragamo. The next leather fragrance that I want to feature is actually the one I'm going to do a full bottle giveaway in this video. At least I'm going to start the contest in this video. Let me get my words right. This is a fragrance that quite surprised me when I first tried it. I'm not used to this house creating fragrances that are subtly brilliant. And I think this is one that has that subtlety and that intelligence in design. It is Calvin Klein Defy. We're gonna be giving away a brand new 100 ml bottle of Calvin Klein Defy because it is just that good of a leather oriented fragrance. And guys, let me tell you, this is not the kind of flanker that you're expecting from the original Defy. Defy was more like a fruity kind of modern youthful signature scent that was trying to, I don't want to say trying to copy Y in its DNA, but it did a decent job of kind of mimicking the kind of vibe that YSL's Y throws off. This as a flanker is not at all what you might expect from the original Defy. This goes in a completely different territory. It keeps that little bit of fruit, but then it does a nosedive into a darker, richer, leather-like territory. And it uses notes like Moroccan leather, suede, and Haitian vetiver to do it. That's basically what you're getting in the heart and in the base. And you've got this nice fruity, peppery intro of mandarin orange, black pepper, but then again, you get into that leather and that suede, excellent blend. And then of course, your, your dry, elegant vetiver combination is what makes Defy EDP a fantastic modern leather fragrance. And that's why we're gonna do a full bottle giveaway. So to win the full bottle giveaway of Calvin Klein Defy, all you gotta do is make sure you are subbed to Studio Sense 
because that will kick you out of the winnings if you're chosen. So first of all, make sure you're subbed, like the video, and then leave a comment what your favorite, currently what your favorite leather fragrance is. It's all you gotta do and you will be entered to win a brand new full bottle of Defy Eau de Parfum. This next fragrance has an absolutely ridiculous commercial. If you haven't seen it, go to YouTube, type in Philip Pline, no limits, and watch the marketing schlep, the commercial surrounding this fragrance. It's really funny, which is kind of sad in a way because it tells a lot of people, hey, don't take me seriously, don't take my fragrance seriously. I don't think they meant it to be that way, but it kind of comes across that way. It mimics the look of a credit card and the idea there's no limit to this. You can buy whatever you want. And that really is kind of the vibe that you're getting from this really fantastically done fragrance. Man, you talk about a lightly sweet but deep dive into all that is great about leather. No Limits is just that. It combines notes of chocolate that you wouldn't think you would find in a leather fragrance with lighter notes, some rougher resins, a little bit of fruit on top to make it more palatable in the introduction. And overall, you've got a fantastic leather-oriented signature scent. And again, oddly enough, even though you wouldn't take them seriously from the commercial, you would take them seriously from the, the smell and the aroma of the fragrance. It's that good. Philip Pline's No Limits, with the S being the dollar sign. Another fragrance that I feel like is criminally underrated, even in the fragrance community, I, I don't think people realize just how good of a fragrance this is, actually one by Michael Kors in the Extreme line of fragrances, which most of these are discontinued. This is a relatively newer fragrance. It is not yet discontinued. It is Extreme Journey. When I first smelled Extreme Journey, I immediately was like, wow, I'm getting vibes of Terra d'Hermes because it does have that whole Terra d'Hermes richly fashioned and richly textured leather vibe to it. But again, it stands on its own as a very different kind of light leather fragrance. And yet leather is all you get in Extreme Journey. Buoyed by pink pepper, atlas cedar, patchouli, but again, leather is your primary note in this. So again, if you're a lover of all things leather and you're looking for a good leather signature scent, definitely give Extreme Journey a try. I think you'll be surprised at how good it is. Mont Blanc is very well known for creating high quality and expensive pins, but their fragrance line, I feel like, has kind of taken off, at least in the fragrance community. But again, their best-selling fragrance is Mont Blanc Legend. And now this happens to be the EDP, the Eau de Parfum version, of the Legend DNA. And that happens to be, in my estimation, the best the Legend line, Legend EDP is hands down the best. Not only does it perform better, it lasts longer, but it carries a bit more that medium refined leather orientation. So perfect casual fragrance can be worn upscale, can be worn very safe for the office, and overall is just a, a great sexy kind of leather fragrance. So most men out there are familiar with Legend, the EDT, because again, it's Mont Blanc's bestseller, but I feel like the EDP is criminally underrated because it's kind of hiding in the shadow of the EDT. Definitely get it out if you have it, retry it. I think you'll really enjoy it, or if you don't have it, it's, it would make an easy blind buy. Well, guys, that's it for my 10 criminally underrated, fantastic leather fragrances that smell like you spent a ton of money when you didn't. That's the great thing about these is they smell very rich, very expensive uh, when they're not at all. They're extremely affordable, in many cases, very cheap. So that's why I stand by all of these fragrances that I talked about today. If you own any of them, which ones are your favorite? And if I missed any, which leather fragrance is your favorite to talk about and to feature to other people? Share that with us in the comments below. Again, the giveaway, the full bottle giveaway is Calvin Klein Defy EDP. To win, all you gotta do is make sure you're subbed to Studio Sense, like this video, and leave a comment which is your favorite leather-oriented fragrance. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.